Hi there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz, and today I have compiled a list of summer's hottest trends for 2023. So the I've watched the runway shows, I've read the articles, and you know, it depends who you listen to, who says what's trending or not, but we can kind of see what is trending by uh, just what people are wearing and what is in the stores. So I have compiled a list of 15 of the hottest trends, and uh, we are gonna kind of break it up into uh, three fun lists. So I'm gonna share with you five wearable trends, five trends that I will not be participating in, and five trends that are classic. So these are all trending now, but we're gonna break them up into those categories. So if you're interested to see what they are, then just keep watching. All right, ladies, and I did wanna mention, remember fashion is fun and fashion is subjective and fashion is ever changing. So if your favorite items are or are not on any list and you love them, just continue to wear them and you know wear what makes you happy. This is just to be, you know, an informative and fun video in case you're out and about and want to kind of incorporate just a couple of the trends. So let's get into the list. Trend number one is lavender. Uh, lavender was kind of gearing up in the spring, but for summer it is just everywhere. And I think that lavender is a classic shade. Uh, a lot of people can wear it. It's a beautiful color. It's a classic color. So lavender is trending. So if you see a piece that you love, go ahead and pick it up. I think it's classic, plus you will be on trend. If you aren't into wearing you know, a lavender dress or lavender pants, you can always incorporate a trend with your purse or your shoes. So lavender is trend one. And the next trend, trending still for summer 2023, is going to be the cargo or utility kind of look. So cargo pants have been trending for quite a while now, but I do see the that that style getting into uh, vests and skirts and shorts and really anything. <laughs> so uh, the cargo pocket style pretty much on anything is totally on trend now. And you can definitely pick up a pair of cute shorts or uh, a jacket with the cargo detail if that's a trend you're wanting to incorporate into your wardrobe. And trend number three is the boho look. And that's gonna incorporate crochet and fringe and tie dye and that kind of relaxed little bit of hippie feeling. Uh, it's, it's a trend I always like, but it is trending some years more than others. If you pick up pieces in classic colors, you can't go wrong, and they always give a cool and relaxed feeling. All right, and trend number four is going to be sheer. And this is this can be a tough one because, you know, if you look at the designers and the runways, uh, they went full on sheer. And while they did that to get attention, some of the pieces were really pretty. Um, you often can wear almost any of them if you just incorporate a layer underneath, <laughs> which I would recommend. If you do want to rock this sheer trend, I would utilize the sheer as a third layer. And you can really do that with anything. A dress as a beach cover-up, a little button-up sheer blouse over a uh, tank top or camisole is a really beautiful look. And again, if you get it in a timeless color, this is something that you can wear for years and years. Summer trend number five is gonna be mermaid core. I'm sure you've seen this online and it actually encompasses a whole lot and people have been really creative uh, taking inspiration. So just think uh, the ocean. So anything from there, uh, the sandy colors, the blue colors, shimmering, you know, how the sun hits the ocean, uh, like a, a shimmering iridescent kind of look. Of course, seashells 
and pearls and netting and all of these textures uh, incorporate you know you can incorporate one piece or a couple to give you that mermaid core look for a beautiful kind of almost beach relaxed look uh, which is great for summer all right next up I have the five trends I will be passing on so let me know if you love these we can totally disagree this is just my two cents you can give me your two cents down below but trend number one um, on the second list that I will be passing on is the de distressed or overly distressed um, embroidered embellished uh, denim looks and that's for any kind of denim so denim jackets denim pants denim skirts uh, it's just a look that I am not into uh, I would suggest to keep it kind of classy and timeless maybe minimal distressing would be okay if you love that distressed look um, but this is a trend that i will be passing on the second trend i will be passing on this summer is the bows on bows but i am just not into the overly frilly uh, and bows on bows and bows everywhere uh, so this is a trend that I will be passing on, but I do think there is kind of a more classy, timeless way to do the bows. Maybe just some simple bows on a dress at the shoulder or a single bow in your hair um, is a great way to look feminine and not too frilly. And trend number three that I will be passing on, I actually couldn't believe when I saw this one, but it is the illusion clothing. So this is clothing that designers have made that really make you do like a double take. Um, so it is the dress or the shirt that just has something odd about it. Um, either it has like woman parts on the clothing or the outfit isn't on or it's upside down or it's got such an eccentric pattern that it you don't really know what's going on i've even seen them do lace that looks like denim and just so anything that gives an illusion to trick the eye it's a little much for me it's a little much for me the uh, minecraft illusion clothing line i think from louis vuitton and I, there's there there was a lot it is very interesting to look at and if you love this trend you rock it it is one i will be passing on myself though to rock this look in a bit more of a toned down uh, way maybe incorporating some of the sheer and lace so it kind of tricks the eye like maybe you're not wearing something but then a skin colored something underneath is a little bit more of a classy way to incorporate the illusion trend if that is something you're wanting to do and trend number four that i will be passing on this summer is the puffy accessories this is just another one i don't get <laughs> The puffy shoes, the overly puffy uh, purses, uh, perf pu puffy clothes, puffy dresses. Uh, it's a lot, it's a lot. If you love this trend, maybe tone down with a little puff purse uh, would be okay. Maybe a little puff sandal. Uh, of course, the, the designers do everything over the top and some people are wearing some of those looks, but if you want to keep it a little bit more conservative or classy, toned down, then slightly puffy might work out. But this is a trend I will be passing on. And trend five for summer 2023 that I will be passing on is the 3D floral. So this is a big trend. Um, and it's not necessarily that I don't like the look. Um, I do on some people, on some dresses, I've seen it look really beautiful and even classy. Uh, for me, it's not my vibe, but if you wanted to incorporate this, I would say maybe not huge over the top flowers, maybe something smaller, maybe a little tie choker rosette that you could tie on you know, your neck or your wrist or your bag or your waist would be a great way to incorporate this trend if it's something 
that you are interested in dabbling in. All right, and the five timeless trends that are trending now and I think are always trending are uh, number one is gonna be denim. So you can't go wrong with denim. Uh, denim is always in. It is just the cuts, styles, and washes that change season to season or year to year. But you can get this look while there's a lot of denim, whatever's in trend. So right now there are wide leg jeans in trend and denim skirts in trend. So it's a great opportunity to pick up some pieces that work for you and you just have a bigger selection. So wide leg jeans aren't always as hot as they are right now. And so if you are in the market for some, I would say pick up a pair or two because you can certainly find a wash and length and size, you know, fit and everything that works for you. Uh, same with the denim maxi skirt. They are, everyone's carrying them. So you can find a cut that looks great on you and both are pieces that you could wear all year round. And timeless trend number two that is trending for this summer and I believe is always trending are maxi skirts and mini skirts. And of course we're seeing these in denim, but also in silk, in satin, in crochet, in leather, and in a pleated pattern for a more preppy look. So a long skirt or a short skirt, whatever your vibe is, is in tr on trend and I think a timeless look. Trend number three for this summer and that I believe is always timeless is the minimalist look or the quiet luxury look. And so basically this is just a toned down kind of classic look, uh, which is a look I have uh, adopted years ago and it just isn't a lot of flashy colors or patterns or logos or anything like that. You can still incorporate a lot of beautiful textures and uh, still a wide range of colors, but they are a little more understated uh, and not really mixing a bunch of bold, bright colors and logos and just flashiness. So this is a big trend for summer, uh, really all of 2023. And you know, if you get some timeless, classic cuts, colors, pieces, you can't go wrong. You will be able to wear them for years and years and years. Timeless trend number four that is still trending this summer are what they're calling party bags or fun bags. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Over the top bags, just neat bags uh, and bags, I mean purses. Uh, so while you should have a classic bag and if you haven't seen my capsule wardrobe for starting or restarting your wardrobe, I'll link that here. These are extra bags. So you certainly don't want one of these bags as your main bag, but if you buy a super sparkly or a super trendy fun bag that is beautiful, that you love, it certainly is a conversation piece. If you take it out when you go out with the girls, uh, it's a fun way to incorporate something to talk about, something a little trendy into your wardrobe. Probably not an everyday look or work look, but a fun trend that you can pull out every now and then for years and years. And timeless trend number five is the color black, which I love. So you might be thinking, oh my gosh, there's no way I'm wearing black in the summer. And my favorite way to wear black in the summer is with a sundress. It still gives that, sl it still gives that slimming look um, and you know, it's a cool color. It just looks elegant. And if you get it in a linen, a cotton, a lightweight fabric, it is airy and flowy and definitely like to incorporate a little bit of black into my summer looks, either with a hat or even a satin uh, button up as a third layer. So don't discount black, it is on trend and uh, you can incorporate it into many summer looks. All right, what did you think? Did you agree with my list or disagree? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't seen my do's and don'ts for wide leg jeans, a trending denim for this year, check that video out next. Lots of great tips in that one. And 
Yeah, if you enjoyed this content, please give me a like, but really I would love for you to just come back and visit me on the next one. So I thank you so much for dropping in. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.